And this article, I was surprised this is from Essence. And maybe I should save this arc. I don't know if I'm going to save it. I'm going to read it because usually if I have it here, it would be better than saving it at all. So this article right here, for those that's not familiar, we always hear about these interracial relationships that a lot of black folks that's in these relationships love to be degraded and call the N-word with their partners, some from the black male side, and I'm finding a lot from the black female side for some reason. And I never understand the fixation of a, a man that you're in a relationship wants to de, um, call you in derogatory terms and you accept it. But anyway, this is the article. All right. It is titled Intimacy Interventions. My husband used racial slurs during intercourse. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, a newlywed whose white husband called her in the N word during intercourse, feeling disgusted, betrayed, and shame, and isn't sure how to make it stop. Now, before I read on, my question asks, why would you, as a person, a woman especially, be in such a relationship where your mate uses these type of derogatory terms? Matter of fact, I go deeper. Why would you allow derogatory terms be used towards you as a person, a African, or you call black, or you call yourself black descent. Why would you do so such a thing? Should be the biggest question I ask. I mean, I don't see the fixation on, on it. I find it to be repulsing, in my opinion. I find that to be very, very much repulsing. As, as a person, you, you should not be so comfortable being in any relationship where your mate could call you the N-word anytime as they feel yeah. and still get access to your box like glittery. And mind you, when we talk about Fifty Shades of Grey, many books that write about cuck holding and um, what do they call the other things? Um, bondage, you know, those freaky stuff, you know. The weirdo stuff. I think most modern women today, especially when it comes to sisters, they're very into those type of kinks. And if it's a so-called non-black man, usually a a, a Brad, a Chad, or or the the term they like to call zaddy nowadays, they don't mind it. They they, I think they get more, you know, wet, just the thought of it. But let's read on to the article and let's go into it. All right. By Abdul Abraham update October 28, 2020. This is a very old article. This is now by the next couple months. This is gonna be a four-year-old article by Essence. And if y'all not familiar with Essence, Essence deals with a lot of topics, lifestyle, beauty, etc. I'm very shocked that they will post something like this. Not sure what's their intention, why they do it, but nonetheless, they post it. So let's look at it. Passionate living coach Abdul Abraham gives love, dating, and self-esteem advice on the CW by Bill Cunningham show and all over the web through their hit web series, Abdul TV. We're not going further. And this is was written. Oh, that got speech? Uh, nah, I'm not going to use I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it out because they use derogatories. Dear Abelo, my man keeps calling me a N bitch during sex, and I hate it. I have been married for a year, and I am at my wit's ends. My investment banker husband is from a white old money family. Oh, he's so he's a banker. So he makes pretty decent money. And... If he's dealing with old money, that means it's something that was passed down for the first or second generation, most likely. That's what he 
what they would call old money. More than more than twice a generation, most likely. Or it could be more. I am a first generation black American woman who family is from the island of Jamaica. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> here's the problem for those that don't know. <laughs> I tell you, man, it is funny. It's very funny. Hold on a second, guys. Let me, before I continue, let me do this. You know, please join the Chaos Rain show. And it says here, we met at a reunion for the Ivy League school we both attend, and he proposed in six months. Now, remember what KSS said. Most men that are very much in the high value range, they don't waste time when they're ready to marry a potential mate. They usually give it roughly 12 months to roughly six months. And as he said before, once a man reaches certain status, he's not going to be wasting time. He's going to tie going to get you locked down within six months, as it says here. We have the picture-perfect fantasy life. He wines and dines me, and we travel and shop the globe. Unlike all of the black men I dated in the past, my husband is generous, loyal, committed, and considerate. Wrong. How can you measure loyalty? I, I'm confused. How do you know this man's loyal? Is it because he's white? Hmm. 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 Because I only hear this talk mostly loyalty when I would say black women when they date out, most likely. When they're dating out, they think that all non-black men are very loyal. I'm not sure where they get this mentality from. This is some new mentality. We always got to think and quantify what is loyalty. Can you measure it? Is there exacts? Um, what is this, male? Who's male? Is this... I'm not sure who's male. It looked like you're new. I can't recognize Mel. Anyhow, I'm going to continue reading. And as I continue reading, I'm going to bring Shatter. What's good, Shatter? Hey, what's going on, bro? Can you hear me? I hear you good now. Let me continue to read this article. All right. He courted me, and I never have to pay for anything. He said I could quit my job, and I did. He makes me feel like a woman. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to share our problems. The first time he let the N word drop was during sex on our honeymoon. Okay. When I reached negatively, he explains that a black woman he dated in the past enjoys being called racial slurs. Let me put a pin on that. So, it seems... Wait, hold on, let me see. Oh, is you mailing this? Okay, you changed your name. Okay, uh, I kind of like Mel and Vessel better on Melon. Mel is okay, but it, it doesn't give the same energy when you, when you put the vessel. Because essence of darkness. If you feel me, Mel and Vessel? I'm just saying. Now she says the propagandist. <laughs> Shatter, what's your take so far in the article? She said it's a propaganda article. What's your view? Okay, well, Shatter gets back. Um, um, man, that's so the links to the chat room. This is an open panel, so I'm here. No, I, I, I was listening to you, bro. I, I was on mute. Uh, what I was saying was, if you was to go back up, what she just had laid out all of the problems that she said she didn't like, where he was calling her the Ed word. Or whatever, yeah. and then she is she double back and say, Well, he's considerate, he's this. How is he considerate <laughs> if he's calling you these names? You don't like it. <laughs> like, come on now, we can't have both things at the same time. I don't know, man. It, 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 listen, 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 listen. 
we, we gotta stop the cap here. We know there's some brothers. I know one brother was on a panel and he said that the woman he was dealing with, I don't know if he was in a long term relationship or a marriage with this woman, she went and called him a nigga during bed, right? And he probably said something to her, but he let it slide, right? And he had no problem with it. And I know this exists, brother. I want black people to stop calling me and make that we, that you in these relationships and you your part if your partner never call you the n-word, stop me. Stop it. Matter of fact, I forgot the special skits. Don't worry, when I get my <laughs> God damn it, you can't make this shit up. Ooh! I'm a, I'm gonna start preparing these little special image videos for y'all, man. It's coming, man. But it's like what Michael Jordan said. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> anyway, let me keep reading. Another time, he jokes that he had purchased my freedom. Let me read that again. Oh, that's a joke? That's a joke? That's a joke? That's a joke? Like, I see what I'm saying? To consider, see, like... And as you keep reading, now this is a story that's been published in essence by God. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be the pro-black, you know, essence, the beauty of black women, you know, black cheer, black family. Now, here we go. We are going to entertain this contradictory paragraphs that we're reading. Keep, keep, keep going, bro. Keep, keep going. Yeah. I, I go, I'm going to Glad to keep going. This is funny. All right. He also speculate about whether his family could have owned mine because I have a good hair. I don't know what the f- that means. I mean, uh, see, this is why I'm very. This is problematic to me, bro. What is this they call good goddamn hair? Now, as you know, I don't express hair much on the Chaos Ring channel. I, if I talk about, I keep it short. But we as black people, we got to be clear here. When they talk about something's good, the opposite of good is bad. Let's keep it real. If black people say that white people got good hair, by default, you have bad hair. It's a point they put laws, and even I hear from workplaces from most from well, I hear from the ladies, black women especially, that they can't wear their natural hair because by default they will get, you know, either fined or fired or whatever, right? Most likely they might not even get the job. And now that has changed now last year, I think, because they put new rules now in certain states that they cannot discriminate you because you have a certain ethnic hair or you keep your hair somewhere as a black person, especially black woman. No, it's called the Black Crowd Act. It's the Crowd Act. Okay. It's an act. Okay. But see, that typically applies just for what you said for the women. But, okay. Uh, Women typically, especially like women, have that type of way that they can have that, like, that they fired you for that. And they said that, you, you know, you go get your check, man. That you, you can sue them. But as a brother, you got braids, you got dreads, whatever it is, that job could hire you. They said, well, you got to cut this off. You got to cut it. Oh, yeah. You got to you gotta go with that, bro. Like, if that, you know what I'm saying? Or, or just don't take the job. Okay, you don't have to take the job, but you might need the job. So what you gotta do? Yeah. Ask me. Hey, look, this hair. You know, I love it, but guess what? My kids gotta eat, son. And shit, I just have to have a fade, man. And you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm back in the military now. You know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. fuck it, cause I gotta, I gotta feed my children. So it don't matter. And, and you can say, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell these white folk, yeah. They they, they they hired me because I had some hair on my head and I'm going to fight. Man, your family going to look at you like, nigga, you a damn fool. You better go up there and cuck in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your you better go and cuck eat. in. You better get in that work, man. What do you mean? You better go cuck yeah. in. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. She said that's not true. A man can use that as well. Yes, he can, but notice what Chaos just said. We just said chaos. They just brought the laws in about a year yeah, or two it was, ago. It was, I think it was last year. If I, I, I could be right. wrong, it'd be 2022 or around 2023. That was put into effect last. I mean, this yeah, last year. But but answer me this question, chaos. Yeah. If you fit to go to the job 
everybody up there, you get to pay. I mean, it's, they ain't slave you. Let's say it's a good job. They say you got to cut your hair. You know what I'm saying? And your, you done got the job. Now, it's 30 other motherfuckers lined up for that bitch. But they say you got to cut your hair off to get it. Well, yeah, I could go to an activist staff. I would go straight activist. And, yeah, ooh. Or you going to say, man, let me get this job and feed my kids. What you going to do? Mm-hmm. Come on, a man go a man go get that motherfucking job, or he go if he if, if that's where his activism is at, he gonna go somewhere else. But man, maybe that job is a good job, a great job. He gonna take that job, man, and pay his motherfucking be deal, and he gonna get his kids straight, he gonna get his family straight. He gonna take that job, cut his hair, and it ain't gonna be nothing. It, it ain't gonna be nothing. Chaos, I'm right or wrong. You're, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sure. Um. Hold on, I'm trying right. Keep talking. Come try to step some. Go for today's show. We All got right. Bell said everything's hold up. So only black women are protected against hair discrimination. Stop it. Uh yes. Uh yes. Because you, when the last time you heard a man, a man, not a kid at school, a man actually had a case against a job for hair discrimination. Don't worry, I'll wait, Bill. You can come up here too. Chaos, put that stream log back. No, it's, it's there. Wanna... 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Black women I... been doing that literally for every forever. We know this. Black women can wear their hair anywhere they want to at the job. The only problem y'all got at the job for wearing hair is against other women who will talk shit. Oh, yeah, she got natural girl. She heard that. She, the, the, the white folks scared to say something to y'all at the job. Stop lying. They say something to y'all at the job. They, they ass gonna get fired. You know that. Hey, HR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let, let's not go there now. Hey, come on up here, man. Come on. Come on up here. No. Don't keep getting in the chat. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys, guys, all right, guys, guys. All right. So, like I said, today's goal will be fifty bucks. So, all right, any way you want to support the channel is either by the super chat or in the cash app. Either or, I will take any donation. But please support the channel. So, let me keep going on with this article, and let me put the banner because I forgot to do that too, man. I don't know why I did that. All right, I'm all set. You know, it's been a while, so you know how it is, guys. Let's continue reading on to this unique article. All right, we're, we're also speculating speculating right now, Mel. We're advocating right now. You see, oh, chaos oh, is oh. reading this the, the article. All right, all right. Where was I? Okay, he also speculates about whether his family could have owned minds because I have okay, I read it already. Then he made jokes about my oh, okay, pubic cares. Okay, he called it my Negro Bush and referred to himself as a Negro. Oh, God. You know. <laughs> bro, okay. Bro, oh, let me finish reading the paragraph. He said, I'm being overly sensitive because he loves me to death and should get a black pass for marrying me. Wow. 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 This is just amazing. This article came out. This article came out. Now it's about to be four years. This came out 2020. It's not a new article. This is a very old article. This was on the internet for a few years now. Can you imagine that? And I find ironic. Four years. Yeah, because this we're now in 2024. This came out 2020. Okay. And I'm thinking. No one has caught this. Much as they're gonna do content on this, if I really scoured the internet to find it, and I, all, all I did was listen around other people's streams, and I find that these articles miraculously do exist, and it, it's really telling. And mind you, Mel said, um, Mel Invest said earlier about black men engaged in sex roles, sex plays. Yes, there are some videos and there are some things of black men doing. Also, by the source. Black women are engaged in the same sex um, place too, and they also going as far as engaging in what they call ghetto gaggers. So I won't say what's your point, but whatever the black men do, you are doing the same as well. And really, truly, this information out here, usually this is something you had to find and scour the internet to find this. 
if anybody has any articles of any black man with his non-black mate saying these same things, please. Please. Now, now I've seen I've seen that, okay. I will I will give some uh context to that, okay. I have seen that with funny enough, Russell Simmons produced this. You can leave that where it is. But he had Harriet Tubman, uh he produced the Harriet Tubman like type of sex thing, right? Yeah. You know, a little porno or whatever. And it had brothers <laughs> in there. It had sisters in there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I have seen it. I have seen it. You know what I'm saying? I have seen that. So I, I can't I can't say I haven't seen it. So, you know. Okay. Hmm. I see. I see. Yeah. So my, my thing is this. Um, and really, truly, um, yeah, and I, I heard about the other thing. But, you know, like I said, I don't really focus too much on the men about. Because let's be honest. Majority black women entertain weirdo men that are of that nature that that goes both ways, which why I say they go one way, because if you're a man, you get banged out by another man, you are gay. I'm sorry. There's no in-betweens. But men that's in their rightful nature that is actually straight, they're not going to invest money in or invest in certain friendship of men that's actually about that life. Only time I see people advocating for weirdos is black women. To point these dudes are in bold, say they're better than women now. Because if a man's straight, a man's not gonna really have most people that are, unless they know from a long time, even that's questionable. Weirdo friends, if you know what I mean. But like <clears throat> if 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 she said we see black men get married on slave plantations, okay. none if this stuff is the norm, though, is what I'm saying. So okay. if a black man, see, you don't even know. You actually making your point. You making the opposite point of what you're trying to say. Because if black men was under Jim Crow and slave, and they still was marrying black women. Okay, so where is where is the problem? I mean, <laughs> come on, think about what you're saying right now. <laughs> you feel me? Like he still was married though. So, what is the problem? <laughs> and, and one thing I will say this: when I say majority, it's kind of stretching it, but I'm being honest, and I'd be honest with what I'm saying personally. If enough black women are not against it, then the whole ma- majority is with it. Because your sign speaks for itself. Matter of fact, I'll do you one better, Mel- Melon Vessel. If black women hate weirdo men, or we like to call funny men, I call them pogey men, you will not have no friends with them. Matter of fact, you will not, not only advocate, but you will not let them do things like touch your hair and all that stuff, or be such involved because they go at black men, the same black men that they said that they are fighting you against black men, but they behind closed doors, they want to get close to be getting poked by another man, which is another conversation for another day. But it's all a game at the end of the day, Mel and Vessel. I want you to understand this is a pure game. The pokey man, the weirdo man, is not your friend. He never was your friend because his whole intention is to get the man while you have nothing. And I did one bet. Not only he wants the man, but he wants to be the bitch and the man that he deals with is supposed to be the man. That's how sick it has become. So let's keep reading the article. And guys, be nice to the channel. All right, let's go. Um, that I don't appreciate those comments. And he said that my friend and family probably use the N-word all the time. Mm. He also asked why black people can use the word and he cannot. Because you're not. You get punched in your face. That's what will happen. I don't use the word or believe in the nigga, negro definition. Differentiation. Neither does my family. I'm too embarrassed 
to tell anyone about this because I know that might say that what she gets for marrying a white man, okay? Every time we try having intercourse, again, the slur flies like there's no tomorrow. Fly like an eagle. Our sex life is pretty much over right now because I pretend to be asleep every time my intercourse or my sexy, handsome man wants to be with me, okay? I feel complete turn off. I love my husband deeply, so please don't tell me to leave him because that's not what I want to do. Then why the fuck are you writing this? Why? And see me, you're you're well invested in this marriage and relationship. Now, I'm not sure if I want to go back and read this article over again. You're looking for advice, baby. Because this ain't it. What advice really can you get when you, you don't want no advice because you say you're not going to leave them? Hey, Prime VA, you listen to this? You hear this article? I'm just make sure you listen to the article. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna read y'all, y'all chat in a second. I'm not gonna pull up because y'all saying some things in the chat. I'm not gonna definitely pull up. But anyway, let's let me keep going. My husband was my first interracial relationship. Please tell me racial slurs aren't normal be- between interracial couples. Oh, it's normal to the mates you pick. I would like to figure this out before we have kids, but I can't afford to leave him and still maintain my lifestyle. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Oh, yeah, Re- read you. that. <clears throat> read that again. Okay. You read that again. All right, I'm reading this for is you for the back. Now, this is this is I'm gonna essence. Read for y'all for the back. I'm gonna read that for y'all the back. All right, let, me, let me wait before I read it. Let me drop the link one more time for those that want to come up. I know most people don't want to come up, but screw it. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it for the gram. All right, I'm gonna read it for y'all again. My husband was my first interracial relationship. Please tell me racial slurs aren't normal. Between interracial couples, question mark. I would like to figure this out before we have kids, but I can't afford to leave him and still maintain my lifestyle. How can I regain my sexual attraction from my husband? Sign black and proud. Miss Okay, and there's a and there's an answer to this. Before I get to the answer, I'm gonna check how many likes I got on the stream. I'm going to do that. Let me refresh. Let me see. I have right now. And I better have have more than people watching. That's fine. And and come here. Please hit the like button. Likes are free. Okay. All right. We we look like we're fine for now, but I'll keep going. It's like this. You love the lifestyle. He's an investment banker. Old money. So obviously, he's in his right nature to call you a nigga, B-I-T-C-H, right? And because he has done this, not only to, but many women that he likes to indulge in his desire, his filthy desire with black women, because it is a fetish, it is a desire. And most women, unfortunately, want to be desired. They want to be fetishized. Black women, no different. You want to be the side. You want to be the top woman and say, oh, he only wants me. It is your lustful desire. So, Mr. Charlie, because he likes Negro women, he is going to attain his lust and call you all types of words until Sunday. And you're going to stay because you ain't going nowhere, sweetie. My advice, and this is old now, have sex. Have children. And shut the fuck up. That would be my best advice. I would tell you, leave the man, but because you're a first time American born, in, I mean, I'm first first time generation American, parents from the island of Jamaica, it is common, the West Indian gal, yes. Take cocky and shut the fuck up. All right. I'm going to read the chat room. 
before I read more to this. I'm going down. They got with a man for a last and wonder why the relationship doesn't last. Well, it does last, Prime V8. And let me tell you why it lasts. Because the white man's skin removes all imperfections and sins. It is black people's nature to love and worship white, white folks. They love it so much that it will be derogatory in the opposite of the possibility of being close to God, which is the white man. She is exemplifying her mental illness by being with white men because that is the sure desire. And not only a regular white man, but a very rich white man. So she's not going to stop working. She's not going to go back in these streets. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. She's going to sit her butt down. Well, actually, she just needs to sit down on a cot, but that's that's my story. And shut the hell up and cook that food. She better cook. What's what they cook in in Jamaica again? Aki. Sawfish. Bombed. Breadfruit. And dumpling for your white husband. No mayonnaise sandwich. Sandwiches. With what they call it, um, tuna salad with the raisins and all that sweet stuff. You're going to provide his every needs and desires. That is what he signed you up for. That's what you accept. That will be the best advice Chaos Rain will give you. I would not say leave that dude. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're fooling yourself, baby. You won. He is providing you the lifestyle. And in return, he will call you a nigga bitch while he bangs out your back and clapping them cheeks. It's actually the best desire a, a white man could ask for for this investment banker. Now, not many European men going to marry black women in bunches. We all know this. But once you, you got in, baby, there's no way getting out. But ask yeah. yourself this question, bro. Yeah. Do ask black men do what we 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 out there like have a quality tie with the chick we choose we old black women, which I try to keep telling a lot of these women like black men want black women. So the fact that you see a white woman with a black man, that's just the dude that you wanted. The stats alone say that black men is impregnated black women at a way higher rate than any other race. So the fact that they see that, they, but let me ask you that question. Okay. Have, anytime you feel in your mind while you take care of business with your chick that you want to call her an N-word B, has that ever nah. came across your mind? No. Nah. Nah. Okay. And not because we are black in nature, but it, it, I don't see the the sense of even even using the word the, the N word alone is rough enough in my vocabulary personally. But it's hard for me to go even far and say I'm gonna call you a nigger or call nigger B. You know, personally, I mean I, I don't see the okay, value. Okay, now we, we, we just read the article. Now I'm just asking you a question based on what you've read on the article. This is essence. Now we not just coming up with no, you know, no, 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 no. You know what they call it? Uh, incidental uh, stats. This is published, right? This is a published, published article. It's published, it's published to the world to consume. Yes, and I, I, know, and I forgot, I forgot essence was a black magazine article. Good for you mention that, bro, because I, I don't remember that. You know. Person. Yeah, you know, and, and that's what people do. They, you know, they do. They, like Prime VA say, people all lie, act like majority of black men are married out. But if you look at the stats, yeah. which we, w- which we can quantify because we have to look at the stats, not independent. If you want a dude who he got with a Mexican girl, or he got with a white girl, a Chinese girl, whatever, and you like, well, damn, I wanted him, and, 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 you know, he got with that. That might make you feel salty. You see, but the average dude, black dude who you may be qualified for, he ain't marrying a woman. You don't want him, though. 
But it is plenty of brothers in that pool that would qualify to do probably everything that you say you will require. But you care about more what the black man who ain't choosing you is dating. That says more about you than it says about the man. Right or wrong? Right. And what's good, Mr. O? The link's in the chat room. If you want to come up, come up, sir. You know, I will pin it from time to time. But it's in the chat room. Scroll up on your phone or whatever device you are to join the conversation. So now let's read the, um, I guess, a, a essence advice. Miss Dearest BAP, there is nothing about this situation that is okay. Of course you turn off. The biggest sex organ from us women is between our ears and also your legs too. Don't forget your legs. Unlike men, if we're turned off outside the bedroom, we will usually be turned off in the what they call Bodori as well. I don't know if I said that right. But anyway, so you're worrying about maintaining your lifestyle, sis. Let's talk about maintaining your sense of self. No, no, no. Listen, once you create a desire for the ladies, it's hard for them to really weed off the desire. He has created the, the desire for her to get her in completely by sitting and telling him, say, I'm going to marry you. You don't have to work no more. And I'm white, male in nature. It's enough for a woman to sit there, be so, not invested, but so submissive in a way where I said, okay. And then she puts on the ring pawn finger here and goes down the aisle gets the proposal the kiss and eventually quits her job the next day that's how it works so if you're talking about maintain a sense of lifestyle that's all it takes to get off her guard and it worked for first of all you are not being overly sensitive and it is condescending for your husband to say that while he's calling you or, or calling you a racist name, there is nothing normal about being called of your name in any relationship. Second of all, Queen, your husband needs a history lesson and you need counseling. No, he doesn't need a history because he understands the history of black people and him in this country. That's why he deals with set women. Because in the history... And let me tell you something. When people say do history, he need to look at history. History. I know most people are not really well invested in understanding how slavery and the actual real history of America between black and white, they would not be making that stupid statement. Sure. Personally. Because there are books called um, not Dollars of Trade, but um, like The Slave Coast to um i can't even name them off my head now that's, that's bad i'm sorry guys i, I have to really find the book skin uh, even it said they were her property there's so many books right now that was republished written now they they their articles and stories testimonies back then how back we were getting their self abused by these group people during enslavement and even during the days of jim crow nothing changed and nothing's going to change Sorry. It's like business as you. Business as usual. That's how to look at it. So if, for you, a person said that he needs to, your husband needs, needs a history lesson on nonsense. I mean, I'll tell you, knock it off. You don't even read your own history. Hell, I still haven't really understand the history. And I have the books, and I have to make time to go back through some highlight what I wrote and find things that sticked. So let's keep going. His comments but if, are if, if they was gonna have like uh, a history lesson, like if, if the responder to that, if, if that would be true, the like you just said, think about it. How is it that he needs a history lesson? He already married you. You're a black woman. So how would he need a history lesson years after he been having sex with you, calling you an N word B? Okay, how does he need a history lesson? Now, he knows all the history he needs to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he don't need no history lesson. Like, the girl trying to tell him, right, look, 
You need to lead to do the law. That's what she should be telling her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's keep going. His comments are verbally abusive and emotionally harmful. I agree that this issue needs to be addressed before you bring children into the picture. Or, you know, you're going you're gonna to carry this guy's children. Let's stop that talk. All right. Yeah. So. Hold on. There is no black pass. When our white friends ask why they can't use the N word, I always wonder why they would even want to. Even though your husband last black girlfriend love it, he should respect your choice. Black people are not a monolith. In addition, no one should even compare a partner to an ex. This man is betraying you and you are not honoring yourself. This is not a judgment of his ex-girlfriend. Anything that two consenting adults agree to sexually is their business. Bold African-American sex educators, Molina Williams, who describes herself as a preventive negress and a slave on her Twitter page is expert on race plays. Ooh, okay. She teaches that for those who are drawn to explore deeper and deeper what it called crevasses of our psyche or crevasses of our psyche, the desire to explore that taboo can be compelling. However, this is not what you sign up for or something you sound even remotely interesting in. Your husband's behavior and your acceptance of it has eroded the intimacy between you and the foundation of love is trusted and feeling of security. There is no way to feel safe while being reminded of the subjugation of your ancestors during vulnerable moments when you have clearly asked him to stop. The fact that you have expressed your dislike and that your husband persists is hateful and troubling. No, it's more that you love it. See, when when you when you're in a state of mind or a state of respectfulness as a human, the last thing you want to do is accept any bull crap in the form of any racial slurs if you're in an interracial relationship. That should not be accepted, period. And I got people watching more in the chat room. Please hit the like button. Likes are free. And if you're not subscribed to the Cast Ray Show, please subscribe and join membership as well. And support the channel. The goal is $50, roughly. Yeah, hit that like, man. Hit that like, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe. And hit the super chat as well, or cash app. Benny, bring me everyone. What you say? What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! Please contribute to the channel. Doing some things here. And with y'all help or with support, we'll make this thing go much better. So, this is a simple response that you do not respect self. Hell, you don't respect your own self. That's why you're in this relationship by choice. You're not a victim. You're a victim. Here we go, CSI. And I don't think she claims herself to be a victim, but you are participating in the degradation of not only said ancestors, but a degradation of yourself as a woman, especially a black woman, a West Indian woman. And it's typical of a lot of women that's not from America. And American women do the same thing. But most, most of them that you find that's in this relationship mostly are ones that's not first gen, are not really American descendants like that. Very rare. Very rare. But you, you find some that's in these relationships, you got to look at their background, bro. Lama well, not not um Ados, personally. They're not really Ados. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen a lot of that. Get a little more crazier on the non Ados type, like you said, the first and the second generation. You know, you can go back and forth on that, but uh, I agree to that. You know, mostly what I would say is for the American Ados, like we do have some Ados divesters that are some of the loudest proponents for this type of narrative, right? 
Yes, correct. But at the end of the day, okay, what I would say is if they want to go with stats and stuff like that, let's let's go with the people who actually deliver the babies, right? The women. Okay, so on average, right, the women who is delivering these babies, most of these babies is black. So if the black man was everything that these divestors say, why does the average black woman seem to have multiple children by these same men that y'all say by y'all on a mission that y'all don't want? That's what I want to know. I, that's why I wish she would just come up explain her shit instead of me in the chat and all that. Just come up and explain your point. Because I want to know, bro. I, I, I'm not going to argue with... I, I just want to know what, what she got to say. All right. All right. All right. Everybody's watching, so then not, not everybody is listening. All right, let's keep going. Don't let his hate speech draw out your inner wisdom. I understand that you feel ashamed, but keeping this secret is only deepening your trauma confined in someone shine a healing light on the situation so that you are not isolated and feeling trapped and done or alone sorry reality check i know that you don't want to leave your husband it is a beautiful thing that you are taking your vows seriously which most black women are in general because they divorce like most women modern women they divorce very high they don't he is however is not and he is not loving honoring nor cherishing you is traveling the globe playing ho real housewives of a big house while he drops the end bomb is not your ideal fun then you need to ask yourself some serious questions and what are the questions that they, sh they should pose the question with they to really get more clarity in this paragraph your sex life will not improve unless your man changed his behavior and you feel heard so can you believe or behave or so you can or so can his behavior be changed write this down the only man you can change is one wearing diapers abuse have to want to change himself hobble has to first realize the depths of what he is doing wrong it doesn't sound like he does <laughs> Look, it, it, like it, it's like the person who is supposed to be responding to this essence article, she's like she's trying to reach her in a sisterhood type of way. It's like, look, girl, you know, this is what you need to do. You know, this is the man already has said what he wants. He wants a woman in the bed, you know, he wants his finish. I'm gonna call you these words, and you go take it. Hey, you know, <laughs> you ain't got to like it, but she go take it, right? You feel me? And they mm -hmm. sit up here having this conversation. Now imagine if we got up in GQ, right? Yeah. Okay. As men, it would say, well, you know what? I got a white woman <laughs> and she calls me in <laughs> <N> word Jim. In <laughs> word Jim. Yeah. When I be banging out like, hit me in word Jim. Hit me, hit me. Do me. It's like, like okay, th th there would be articles. They would they would get GQ. They would retract that article. That that shit would be gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like would even ever get published. So the fact that we talking about it, when women get something to say about, it, I'm like, well, no, nah, these is two women that's talking about it. It's on a women's magazine. Come on, right? Huh? Y'all editor. The editor is the woman. Mm -hmm. Come on, right? Huh? Essence magazine. Come on, right? Let's let's be real. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, let me see what's going on here. All right. All right, let's keep going. Wait, I see some in chat. Okay. Hello, Mona. How you doing, Mona? All right, let's keep going. In addition, you may want to examine your own racial attitude. I am sorry that you had challenging experience with your previous partner. However, when he lumps all black men together as cheap and disloyal, we may as well have been calling them the N-word ourselves. If you stay with your man for money while he is speaking down to you, then I'm afraid you have 
personally sold yourself to an auction to the highest bidder, <clears throat> which she did. Ooh, it is time. Hold up. It is, okay. No, yes. I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, run that back. Hold up. You just sold you. If you go going to do that, right, you have sold yourself to the highest bidder. Yes, because that's what she said. I'm going to stay because he's an investment banker and he's this and I want to make it work. But he's disrespecting you. You all S is talking about it. So, yeah, you know, you've basically sold yourself to the highest bidder. Hmm. I mean, basically, that's what it is. Wait, no. Like I said, and you know what's funny? I remember when Kevin said it best, said, what is your price for a submission? And, you know, I was laughing at that and say, wait, women have an actual price tag? And someone were laughing at it, too. And he said, no, what's your price? And I sit back and say, damn, I think Kevin was on something. Because if a man asks, how much is going to take me to get your actual submission? That's not something to play with. That's a direct question that deserves a direct answer and let them play around it and i get it you know because they want to give it because i think most smart women they don't want to give a direct answer because they'll, they'll feel so they're like a, a whore in a way that you know i could be bought and all that stuff but like the the man said when he was alive say you're in the market you're being looked to be bought you get me and picked by somebody you know so um, i get it anyway let's keep going it's time for a self-esteem check. Doll face, you deserve better. Counseling will give you tools to determine your relationship future. For your friends and family, the problem is not that you are in an interracial relationship. The issue is that your husband is cold and classless, bigot, bully, and bored. Jerks come in all colors. Passion yours, Abella. Abola. And this is by the founder of Bombshell Academy Blog, online school, a web service, ability to follow her, Twitter, da, da, da. Okay. And that's in this article. Very interesting article. It's a good read. You know. Please join the Chaos Range Show. As you can tell, you see the amount of nice badge and custom emojis. Ooh. So as you can tell, join the Chaos Ring Show. As you know, there are some perks. As you know, there are two tiers of um membership. Membership one, two ninety nine. As you know, the first membership, as it tells from the description, um, exclusive members only videos, and also some. Um, mem um, videos that will be only depend on the situation will be put on members. Not every video will be members only, but the ones that you know are members only or custom members only videos, you'll see mostly on the first tier. Stage one called Ed to the Chaos. Stage one. Now, the other one, the 799 one. As you know, there's early access to new videos, member shout outs. Um, photos and status updates, maybe. I have to edit. I might not put no photos, maybe updates. I, I might. We'll see. Depending on how many people join the top tier one. And like always, exclusive members and members only live streams. And personally, um, as this builds up, I might do the live streams members only here more and more, mostly, roughly, than what's given here. Well, we have videos, so, you know, depending on what is I could put on here, you know, they it post mostly will be on the first tier. The second tier, depending on how much is built up, you know, there might be more exclusive live streams. Might be a little raw cut, uncut stuff, maybe on the members only true chaos uncut version, which it speaks for itself. 